In this Museums Without Borders episode, we look at two works, a painting by Said Haider Raza from MAPS collection and a Jain Pata from the collection of the LD Institute of Indology. These works span different time periods and contexts but are nevertheless united in their explorations of Indian cosmology and sacred geometry. This work is a Jain Pata a painting on cloth from Western India from the collection of Lal Bhai Dalpat Bhai Institute of Indology. The painting of such complex visual diagrams dates back to medieval times with many references in literary text. In the Jain, Buddhist and Hindu traditions, rituals involved the use of both mantras and yantras. Mantras are sacred syllables or phrases that are considered meditative tools and must be accompanied by a sacred diagram or yantra to complete the ritual. In the Jain tradition, meditating on a yantra is an integral part of the rituals to gain salvation. On this side, we have Universe, a work by Raza, who was one of India's leading modernists and a member of the Progressive Artists Group. Universe was painted in 1993 and reveals an evolution in his artistic style. When Raza moved to Bombay, he painted many expressionist landscapes of the city. However, after he met Henri Cartier-Bresson in 1948 and moved to France, we see him shift to more geometric renderings of the French cityscape. Despite the many years he spent outside India, Raza still felt very rooted to his homeland. His later works reflect this in their choice of subject and formal qualities where colour and form merged into each other, partly inspired by memories of his childhood in Madhya Pradesh. But in the late 1970s, the Bindu or Bija began to emerge as the central focus of his canvases. Yet, despite the shifts in his artistic practice, Raza would continually return to the theme of nature and its elements. This particular patta is called the Vardhaman Vidya Mantra Patta. The Vardhaman Vidya is a mantra. It begins with the syllables of Om and Reem. One 14th century text tells us that the Vardhaman Vidya Pata was traditionally presented to a monk when he was conferred the position of Acharya or scripture reader. When the mantra was given, we can assume that the Pata was also given. Together, they served as instruments to stimulate the human consciousness. These rituals were conducted strictly within the monastic community of the Jains and little is known about them. This mantra evokes powerful energy and can be used for different purposes, for general welfare, for the conquest of death and to grant all wishes. What is striking about this patta is the profusion of written matter all over. There are mantras, instructions on how to use them and information on the circumstances under which the paintings were made. It is also dated to 1475 which is inscribed here on the upper right hand corner. Just as the patta was used to stimulate human consciousness, Raza too compared the act of painting to a prayer. In the same way you would repeat a mantra to reach a higher level of consciousness, Raza's repeated use of the bindu added layers of depth and energy to his works. His integration of the bindu stemmed from a childhood memory. When he was just eight years old, his teacher instructed him to meditate on a small black circle drawn on a white wall. Many years later, when he revisited the same school, Raza was reminded of this experience and wanted to incorporate it within his paintings. This gave rise to the Bindu, the circle that we also see at the centre of the universe. To Raza, the Bindu represented endless possibilities. It was the primordial source of all creation, a seed or an embryo which marked the beginning of life. On the other hand, it could even be interpreted as Shunya, the void or absence of anything. 
Symmetry and order are strong visual features of this mandala. All the common geometrical shapes of the yantra are found here. The triangles, the circles and the squares. The central focal point here is the figure of Mahavir which is enclosed in the syllable Hrim. This is enclosed by intersecting triangles which forms a six-pointed star. In the language of the yantra, the triangles signify the male and female energies. We also see concentric circles and lotus flowers that are enclosed in the square. The central quadrant of the plate features four goddesses, Jaya, Vijaya, Jayanta and Aparajita. And these are usually evoked to grant peace and bliss. It is interesting to note that touching the outer wall, four gateways emerge from the central circle and open up with fluttering doorways which have a symbol of the Purna Kalash and there are motives in gold. Other motives which are used here which are unique to Jain art are animal pairs of natural enemies showing a peaceful coexistence. Similar to the Jain Pata, symmetry and order also feature in Raza's work where the arrangement is reminiscent of a mandala. His visual vocabulary draws from pre-existing traditions in Indian doctrines, particularly the Tantra tradition. In universe, we are presented with a 3x3 grid-like composition surrounded by a border composed of various geometric shapes in hues of brown, black, blue, orange, red and green. But these shapes also have symbolic meaning. In the Vastu Sutra Upanishad, a text on sculpture and architecture in Hinduism, geometric shapes are compared to natural elements. The triangle is compared to fire, the square to water and the circle to light. So, the coming together of these various geometric shapes in universe perhaps represents the unison of these natural forces. Like the Pata, the presence of circles and intersecting triangles in universe also recall Yantra paintings. The upright and inverted triangles could symbolize Prakriti Purusha or the polarity of male and female energy. This Pata is quite similar to other configurations found throughout Jain Pata painting, the most common being the Samvatsara or the Universal Teaching Assembly. Comparing this with the Raza image on the right, what is most striking is the similarity of shape, the circles, the triangles, the squares, even though used in a different manner and for a different purpose. Both images have this powerful visual imagery of energy converging within and then emanating outward. Even though radically different in terms of purpose and medium, when placed side by side, we can see how art transcends time and space to provide meaning for both the creator and the viewer.